Okay, so I think everybody maybe knows this or maybe not, we never know in our audience. There's something called the van, it's the voter uh, activation network, and then there's the minivan. And just like, you know, I was looking at this slide again today, and it was like, you know, in the van, the big trucks are really bulky and hard to operate, and you need a special license, and there's all kinds of equipment. And then the minivan is like a little Mini Cooper, you zip around and you get things done. Um, so it's really um, kind of a good analogy there. The van is big, and the minivan is just very flexible, and you can pick it up and um, be on the move. So the VAN is the Voter Activation Network. It's a database that the Democratic Party uses. It contains information about all registered voters um, in our state and other states use their version of the VAN. Uh, the minivan is a smartphone app. Um, pretty sure everybody here has a smartphone and they use it for different things. And, um, you know, maybe Sometimes you think it's complicated, but then after you start using it, you don't know how you got by without it. So the minivan is a smartphone app, and, and what, it, um, what it's used for is to record interactions with um, voters during a specific outreach project. So you need a list number, you need, somebody needs to create a list for you, and then you'll be able to get access to that on your smartphone. Okay. The van and the minivan, they talk to each other. So obviously when you um, use the minivan and you enter a list number, it's getting information from the big van. And then when you go out canvassing and you put the um, information in, like somebody, hit, they moved, the property's vacant, I had a conversation with this person, I asked them questions, they answered it. And then you just mark that in your phone and and then it um, goes back up to the big van. So it's, it's very efficient. There's no papers, no one's entering data, nothing to get lost. It just happens uh, very efficiently. So this terminology is probably familiar with everybody, um, but just in case a turf is a list of potential, con of potential contacts and I can't even see what that says. And it's typically Democrats are, and or independents. Um, some, we try to, most people who make lists um, want to ensure that everybody has a, as pleasant an experience as they can. And so um, usually there aren't Republicans on the list. So it's usually friendly territory. And a good turf maker is going to make the turf um, not cross major intersections and it's gonna keep it to a reasonable number. So 20 to 50 is um, average for a turf. Okay, so I imagine, I can, I can think I can see almost everybody. Raise your hand if you've ever gone out canvassing. Betty? No? Raise your hand if you've gone out canvassing. I just think everybody's probably, go thank you. <laughs> okay, so you probably, um, what you see on your screen is probably familiar to, to you. You get a map, you get a list, and, um, and the list may or may not be, or the paper list may or may not be organized by street or could be organized alphabetically. And um, the map doesn't have details of the streets that you're on really. It might have the major intersections, but um, the map isn't very helpful. So you have to you know, get out your, your uh, nav system and figure out where am I going and, and make a list and figure this out. And, you know, streets are not organized alphabetically. So if your list is organized by street alphabetically, you really, you got to figure out your route. And if your list is organized alphabetically by person's name, they don't live in some kind of sequence. So you got to really figure it out. It's kind of cumbersome. I used to canvas with Maggie, our um, co-host tonight, and um, She'd come with, you know, she spent hours mapping a route so we could be efficient when we go out. But that was 
you know, wasted time, not wasted, but it was time unnecessary um, using um, a Google map or something like that. So a turf is, um, on paper and your PDF is a, is a paper list and a map usually. <clears throat> Minivan, on the other hand, is a smartphone app. And that smart is there for a reason. Okay, so this is a real photograph from um, PCDP, Pima County Democratic Party headquarters at the end of the 2018 election. And what you don't see in this photograph is the boxes of, um, see the, the brown box on the left there, that's been organized, but you don't see other boxes that have been organized because then we had to pay a shredding company to come and shred this stuff because it has confidential information. Um, it was, and, and then there were boxes of, um, of turfs that were never even open because the campaigns were sending down boxes every day. They were printing them up in Phoenix and somebody was driving them down. Oh my gosh, now think about all the gas that was wasted, all the paper that was wasted, the ink. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Anyways, this is one of the, um, an additional benefit of using the minivan is we, you know, we're, we're Democrats, we wanna protect the environment. We're not gonna use all that paper. So the benefits of the minivan in a nutshell, it, it saves times and make us more efficient. And you're gonna see that in the upcoming slides. There's a lot of benefits of the minivan. It simplifies distribution. I mean, we used to have to, um, in LD9, we might have 120 canvassers. We'd have to print 120 lists and get them out to different people and get them back. And now all we do is you know, send an email and says, here's your list number. It's a lot of people, um, some people use their paper lift, but list, but they love the mapping because the minivan is tied into the Google Maps on your phone. So um, you, as you'll see, you know, you can, you'll go to a house and then you'll say my next house and it'll tell you exactly where the closest house is. So that's really nice. Technology is nice when it works. Um, it, like I said, it, it um, updates automatically to the big van where people, where you keep track of information, all kinds of information. So nobody has to sit around with stacks of paper and enter that, you know, that this person was visiting. This really, this other feature about the daily updates, it's really, um, I think it's one of the funnest features of the van, minivan, is that during get out the vote, you know, the, um, the early ballots come in every day, right? And the recorder verifies the signatures and sends them off to elections. So once that happens, they're marked as voted. And, you know, we can tell people, you can go to the recorder's website to see where in the process your um, ballot is. And maybe the new recorder is going to be uh, doing some text messaging, but in any event. So let's say you have a list of 50 people and you were asked to go visit these people in five days and you get to 10 or 20 of them the first day. Well, if the next day um, when you open the minivan, if, if five more people have voted, you're gonna get a notice on there automatically. No one had to do anything. It just automatically happened. And that is the best part of the minivan is to see that people have voted and I don't have to go talk to them or, or convince them to vote. So it, that's a really exciting part of that. And with paper, you know, the paper list is out of date as soon as it's printed. So, um, and then um, the other nice thing about the minivan is if you're working with a team, suppose um, Rita and your friend there, I forget his name, um, decide to go out in, in a neighborhood and um, the turf has 50 people. And um, you say, you go on the even side of the street and I'll go on the odd side of the street. And then there's always these little cul-de-sacs, but you can see where the other person is contacted because as soon as they say, I did my lit drop or I talked to this person, then you hit the sync button, which Maggie's gonna talk about. Then all of a sudden, the person you're canvassing with knows that. Um, it was really useful for me. My, one of my first times using the minivan, I was in a condo complex. I had no idea where building two was, where building nine was. And I was with two other people and we had no idea. And we just said, go. 
And so if I went to building five and mark those people, then they knew. So boy, we would have had to, I don't know what we would have had to do if we didn't have the minivan. So it was really good when you're working with a group of people, one or two people sharing a list. I did a lot of canvassing in 2020 with a friend and she was like, you take the even side, I'll take the odd side. And we just go boom, 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 turn the corner. So it's really good. And then we could check, oh, you missed somebody, I missed somebody. Um, I, is that, wait, I think I might've passed a slide. Oh, saves time and makes us more efficient. And then these were the, the specific reasons and there were probably some I forgot. So now, I'm going to turn it over to Maggie. She's going to help you get started. Okay. Again, I'm Maggie Winchell, LD18, but happy to support LD20. So we're going to actually go through, use a real list number and actually put it into your phones and play around with it a bit. So. Let me get this. Um, my, in Zoom, if you see me, I probably look like I'm looking away because I'm looking at a different screen than what my camera is. So, you know, that don't think I'm ignoring you. Um, that's out of my vision here. Okay, so the very first thing, as Lori talked about, is uh, list number. When we did paper lists, the list number was printed on the bottom of each page. So now, if you're gonna use minivan, the coordinator of your outreach effort can just provide you a list number. Now, not everybody was here when we started, but Mike said that for this outreach on Saturday, is it? That you're actually gonna be given a paper list and then you can use that paper list to get the list number and you can put it into minivan and you can get um, accustomed to using minivan while you still have a paper list. So, um, but hopefully in the future, for all the reasons that uh, Lori laid out, um, you can just uh, get a list number from your team leader and, and go at it. So anyway, so we, there's the list number on, that, on the list that you can put in. Okay, so we created a practice list number for you guys to use for this exercise. Um, so if in your smartphone app, where it says, well, I better do it along with you so that I can <laughs> follow, um, where it says enter the list. Now, if, if, you, um, if you have trouble here, sometimes different fault of Android phone is, is slightly different than an Apple phone or an iPhone. I have an Android, Lori has an iPhone. So between the two of us, if there's issues, uh, we can we can help help you. Um, I'm gonna break the rule about no questions because I wanna make sure everybody gets into the list. So if you are having trouble getting this into your minivan app, please let us know now and we, we can uh, see how, how, how we can help you with that. Yeah. Well, my, my screen has a blank with login, a blank with email and a blank with password. Uh, I, I can get your help getting into that, but maybe I should do that after or separately and talk so to So are you, let me see if this works. Do you see, wait a minute, I got to unblur. Lori, can you hold your phone up? Because my, my background's blurry and I, I'll change that, but. I don't think he, he has an action ID. Did you do create action ID, Walker? It, 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 yeah, it says action ID at the top. And I, 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 don't, I don't have, I haven't entered an email because I don't know if it's I'm supposed to enter my you know my regular email and then when it's password I'm at that stage so so okay yeah I so you yeah you yeah you needed to get a little further 
really to, to be able to put input a number. But so hopefully you can just kind of follow along and get some exposure and then um, we can work with you individually on getting it, um, getting you an action idea and then we could even go through the slide again with you, uh, the slides again with you if, if you want. That makes but sense, I, thanks. Okay, but please, I think you'll still pick up some information if you listen in now, even if you can't specifically follow along um, with us. So does everyone, has everyone put this list number in and hit enter or whatever? Uh, this is Kay Davis. Uh, on my phone, it says uh, log. Oh, I, I, I've entered. I have a password, uh, and then when I brought it up, it says log in with action ID or create an action ID or log in without an action ID. What, what do I do? You want to create an action ID. Is this the first time you've ever signed used minivan? Yes. Okay, so um, does that generate right away immediately, Lori? I can't remember. Yeah, I thought it did. It says uh, log in with action ID or create an action ID. Yeah, so just do you want to create an action ID if you've never had one before? All right, and then it says minivan wants to use ngpvan.com to sign in. Yes. So then continue. Yes. And then it says create an action ID account. And I have my email. Yes. Then, uh, I had I I had created a password. I used the same password that I did before. Or is it a new password? Well, what do you mean by you did before? This is your first time logging in, you said. So when I downloaded the app. It asked for an email address and it asked for me to create a password. Oh, that's oh. different. Um, you can use whichever, whatever works for you. Just if you use the same one, it might be easier to remember. And yeah, just try it, huh? Okay. Sounds like that might have been what Walker came up with. Is um is everybody else into do you? Do you use, oh, here's, are you seeing where you enter a list number and have and, you already entered list number? And, and that is a massive list, 86 doors, 89 people, big one. That way you can play with it. Okay, so is, is that, Kay, are you with us yet? Are you? Well, let's see, it's at, when it says phone number, I, uh, that, that's my uh, cell, cell phone number. Is that right? Yes. Okay. It's going to probably do two factor authentication. Okay. And then it says create account. And it says an account with the email already exists. Um, okay. okay. I think, Kay, I think you're going to have to do what Walker does is just kind of watch what we do today okay and then we can work with you individually and get you into it okay thank you and um so that we can continue with so you should be you should see actually when you first open it you should see exactly what i have up here on the screen but um i can't see everybody but is this is this what you're seeing Okay, so the map is on the top and then there's a list by street um, below that, but, but I wanna emphasize the map. So there's a very light gray line right in the middle. And if you just um, drag that, click on it and drag it down, it'll make the map take up the whole screen basically. So then you can see it better and you'll see Underneath my circle here, the or orange circle, I shouldn't have blocked it out so much, but there's like a, a blue circle with, and it says 50 plus. Do you see that? So then if you reverse, I call it reverse pinch and make, keep, keep your, your target 
there and yeah yeah it should you should look see something like this where you're seeing more circles with smaller numbers in no longer 50 plus but one or two or three okay y'all see that okay so each circle is one of the targeted addresses one of the targeted households on the list that we created um, and it, the number inside the circle indicates how many num how many people on the list are li reside at that address so like this one that's we're pointing to here there's three people at that address so you can click on any one of those circles and it'll like you, you can say okay i'm on the corner of at and 14 so i'm gonna click on this the one that's by Otten, where you are, and click on the one closest to where you are. And it will, when you click on it, it will bring up the actual address. And then when you click on the address, you'll see the name or the names of the people that live at, that are at that address. So is everybody, here with with me okay so now i'm going to click on one of the names or a name you you probably don't have these this same one cuz those there were several circles there um mine i i'm clicking clicking on maria valencia so again to get here i brought i made the map big i clicked on I clicked on a circle, which then brought an address up. I clicked on the address and it brought up the names. And then I clicked on a specific name. And this, this is the screen that comes up. So this is where you are gonna record your interaction. So it's there's a few steps to get to this, but once you get used to it, it's quite simple. Lori once used an analogy that Trying to describe to somebody how to make a phone call makes it sound very complicated, but when you actually do it, it's quite simple. <laughs> this is the same. So, um, so you'll have a screen that that looks similar to this. Um, I'm gonna go to the next slide. I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna move away from the slide a little bit. There's when you're canvassing. There's really three possible outcomes. The first one is you reach a voter. And you talk to the voter, the talk, the, you have interaction with the voter. So that's possibility number one. Number two is you reach the voter, but that voter isn't really into you. They don't, they aren't really, you know, down with spending a little time with you. So that's, that's one scenario. And the third one is the voter isn't available. You, you just couldn't get to them. So these scenarios, are handled differently within Minigan. On the first option, where you reach the voter and you and you chat with them and um, have a good old time, you stay on the screen that opened up, the one that we looked at where I had Maria, you probably have somebody else, but um, it looked like this one does. So when you actually reach a voter and talk to them, this is a screen where you're going to record your interaction. So each outreach, this screen is going to look different because each outreach has a certain objective. In this example, what, what we're asking the volunteers to ask the voter is, what is your plan to vote in blank election? This, I just pulled one, so this is, but so, you know, what's your plan to vote? And the options will show on the screen. You might, depending on how long the script is, this is called the script, the questions. Depending on how the how long the script is, you might have to scroll down your screen to see what the options are. Um, in this case, the script is very simple, single little question. So you can see your options right here. So um, when you're talking to the voter, you want to interact and chat and do, and exchange information and do a lot of listening. But 
you want to make sure in that conversation you ask them this question so that you can um, appropriately record it in minivan. Um, and then so you select your answer. Let's say this Maria said she's um, going to vote early. So I'll check voting early. And then I have to sync the minivan. We've never talked about syncing. So now we are going to. Do you remember the slide Lori showed where it's the big van talks to the minivan and the minivan talks to the big van? Well, the way that the minivan talks to the big van is through a sync process. It's a very specific sync. It's called where minivan sends the data up to uh, van. That's a little simplistic, but we'll keep it simplistic like that. So to, on, on back to the minivan screen, the way you sync is there's this little like cloud with an up arrow in the upper right hand corner of the screen. You just click on that. And it will sync the minivan. When you click on it, it will it will you'll get a feedback um, message that says your data has been synced or something like that. In fact, you can do all this. This is you can actually pick something and and actually do this and see what it looks like to you, um, because um, we will. This is just a test um, list, and we'll make sure Lori will make sure <laughs> that none of this data actually goes into minivan. So you can actually do all this stuff select one of the options and then sync it and see what you see there okay so now i'm going to talk about the other two possibilities when you reach the voter but they don't want to talk or when you can't reach the voter so again this is the screen where we first opened up to Maria, pretend like we didn't do the one where we already talked to her. Um, if 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 these if the situation is that you reach, you could you talk you contacted them, but they didn't want to talk, or you could not reach them. You will click on this button on the screen. I couldn't reach this contact, and it will pop you over to another a different screen, and this screen will. Will indicate will give you many options about uh, why you couldn't reach them, um, and again, these reasons will be specific to the outreach you're doing. Uh, there's there's a lot of consistency between these, but it may not look exactly like this when um, when you uh, see the one that um, you're going to be using on Saturday. Um, one thing that is it's, it is on this list, but it was too long, so it's not showing um, is lit drop. A lot of times when you knock on a door and nobody answers, you you leave literature. And that's almost always one of your options here is a lit drop. Um, Maggie? But, yes. Maggie, um, I looked at the list that they're going to be using and mm -hmm. um, and they do have lit drop. But they also have not home, so um, I think the whoever made that list needs to make sure they're clear how they want people to mark it because they can only mark one of those. So oh, yeah, usually, that's a, that's a really good point. You only get to choose one. So and 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 um, and you guys are all LD twenties, you know, kind of new at this. We we did the we had the same growing pains kind of where we did have not home and lit drop and we struggled with what to do and so now we've learned not to leave not to have not home because if they're not home we do always do a lit drop <laughs> so it's you know you just kind of learn to make these um, options a little smoother a little easier for the person doing the outreach but but yeah so in this case it's already done so you'll have that so um whoever your Michael probably talk with whoever's the leader of the outreach and make sure that the you the volunteers know how to how to manage that. Okay, good point, Lori. Okay, so again you select the reason and you sync the minivan. 
And then you go back to the map again. I don't have any slides really on how to go to the map, but as Lori said, one of the options that'll pop up on your screen is go to the next household. That's probably the easiest way or else there's this back button in the upper left that will take you back. So that's a way, two different ways to get back to the, to the next person that you want to visit. Okay, so there's so that's the mechanics of how you actually use minivan, but there's a, a lot of a, a few other things that we want to share with you to make the experience um, even more fun. Um, as as Lori talked about, the minivan will indicate which households have been canvassed. So if let, let's say you're going out, you're out there alone and you you sink something, you, the, there's a um, a little icon on every um, if you look at the household view of it, there's a uh, of your list, there's an icon for each person in the household. If you look at this lower one where it's West Sunbonnet Place, the last one on the list, if you notice that little icon is gray, a pale gray, that means it has not yet been canvassed. But if you look at the two above that, their icons of the people are blue. And the blue means they were canvassed. But the they aren't, the, there's different colors, um, and the color depends on what your interaction was with the, like with the voter. For example, if they're not home, it's a dark gray. So the color means something, but for your purposes, mostly what you have to remember is if it's anything other than light gray, it's already been canvassed. So you don't need to go to that household. Um, sometimes you'll see one that's got a color on it and, you, and you're like, well, gosh, I don't think I went to that house. Well, if you look over on the right, there's this little red icon. And that means somebody else on your team canvassed that house already. So if you are sharing a list number with one or more people, you'll see their activities as Lori talked about where one person has one side of the street and the other person has the other side of the street you'll see that it was canvassed, but you also have an indication that it wasn't you who canvassed it, but it was somebody else. So it's it's really helpful so that you're, you get kind of a picture of what's happening with the, the um, voter outreach. All right, a couple really important things to know is when you're, while you're using minivan, let's say you're, you have 20 households you wanna, to talk to on your first day, you got to 10 of them, but you have to go home and, and eat. So um, you're gonna go back the next day. Don't log out of minivan. And I'm, it means like where you literally log out. Um, it's, if you log out, you'll loop the data is all good and fine because you've been syncing every time. So the data is captured, but the next time you come into minivan, you will, you will not be able to see what you did on that first day. You'll lose visibility to your Canvas data if you log out, but it's okay to close the app. So the, is everyone clear on the difference between closing the app and logging out? So it's okay to close it, but don't log out. And then the next day when you come in, you just open up the app again and, and um, your list will open again. And you'll, and you'll be able to see all of your, all your hard work from the previous day. Okay, so those are, that's, that's pretty important to remember. Uh, and if, it, if you do do it, 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 it happens. Um, um, just if you if if that does happen, call your um, outreach leader and you to you can figure out how to manage that. Okay. But best thing is not to do it. <laughs> okay, so 
there's a lot of other things that minivan can do um and i'm suggesting that when and we are going to go through them because we don't have the time and and a lot of times it's just easier if you play around in it so i'm encouraging you to play around in minivan with this list you we gave you because it won't hurt anything it's a play it's a playground for you um just poke around try different things the script um i'm going to go back to the script you can hide or i'm going to go back to a screen here the script is right here Again, this is not a great example because the script's so small, but on the one that your guys are going to do on Saturday, the script is much longer. So if to make it easier to get to where you, what your options are that you want to check, you can hide the script or show the script with just a toggle switch here, right here. So just kind of play around with that. Um, there's different tabs when you're in that screen when you first get to where you're gonna record your transaction the one where you can see the button i couldn't reach this contact it it shows there's four different tabs on that but it opens up to the script tab there's also a details tab and the details tab provides a lot of um, information about each voter like their age when they registered just stuff that might be nice to, for you to take a little gander at before you approach the voter so that you have, um, you know, you're kind of prepared for who you're going to meet up and chat up. Um, notes is another tab. The notes you can write things in. We kind of discourage the use of notes because um, when the data gets uploaded to Van, it doesn't bring the notes. Is that right, Lori? It doesn't bring it or it's just not searchable? Well, it brings the notes and up until recently, this year, the notes were not searchable in VAM, but that is something new. Um, oh, they are searchable now? They are searchable, but um, yeah, they, now, that's it's, something it's, brand new in the VAM. Right, and if it just if you don't have consistent wording when you're searching for things, it's, exactly. it, it just doesn't serve a, a great purpose, the notes part. So. And then there, the history shows a little bit of interactions that, that we've had with this voter in the past. But the the two the ones that are most interesting to you are the script, which is where you will record your interaction, and then the details. Um, so again, just kind of play around with that. Uh, one a lot most of these um, uh, are set up so that the frequently recurring Canvas results can be um, um, accessed just by, on an Android, you just put your, when the person's name is up, if you just hold your finger on the name, it'll say lit drop, or sometimes it says not home. I mean, there's, it depends on how, the, whoever set up the um, minivan list thing in minivan did it, but it, you could, so again, play with that. I think on a iPhone, I, I kind of made this up, but I think it's right. If on a Android, you put you keep your name on the voter, you keep your finger on the voter's name. On the um, iPhone, you swipe right to get the frequently recurring Canvas results. And that just, it's just fewer clicks to record what you need to record. So just, I really, really encourage you to just play around with it. This is a great, uh, list number to, for to do that now before your Saturday thing um, to help you get comfortable and it, it won't hurt anything. So here's our contact information and again, please call if you have questions or um, if you're a little uncertain. I think as you use this more and more, you're, you you really truly will like it. Betty, I didn't put your phone number in here because I didn't know it. <laughs> um, but um, and again, we'll send. We'll get this. You, if you want, you can take a photo of this page so that you have it. But also, um, if you want the slide show, that it'll be. It won't be a PowerPoint. It'll just be a PDF of this, so it'll be a smaller file. Um, we're, we'll send it to um, Betty, and you can get it from her. 
Um, I can put uh, my telephone number in the chat if anybody wants that. Okay, so now we're ready for questions. 